Hi you guys, it's Karen with Love Your Land. I just shot a 27 minute video and part of my equipment wasn't on so it's, I shot it but I'm just like the whole time. But what's funny is at the very end of the video I said so if this video is totally stupid I have this whole other rack of plants to do this with so <laughs> I didn't even finish with these so we're good. Um, so this episode is called what do I do for my plants or what do my plants need I think I said I don't know. Um, it's the game sweeping the nation and the reason why is because it's the end of March and if you're in a zone like mine you know where you're still early spring and you can't put plants outside yet and you started your seeds inside when I did in January or February by now your tomato plants especially if you're using something like this probably look like this and um, this needs some help it's beautiful it's green it's healthy um, but all of these plants here need some sort of help and there's basically, I've identified three things, three basic things that each of them needs. Um, sorry, there's a big mess because I already did all this, but again, I needed to do it anyway, so it's all right. Um, so we have, we have three situations here. We either have a pot um, that, or a plant in a pot that has pretty much enough soil and has been fed and needs to be pruned, like this. We also have a situation like this where nice healthy plant, it's been fed, needs to be pruned, but it also only has that much soil. So we need to backfill some soil in here. I don't need to add food to this. I just need to add soil and prune it. Then we have, here's a good example, a poor little plant like this <laughs> that looks like um, some sort of weed I found in the backyard. It's not, it's a striped Roman. And uh, I could have told you that actually without even looking at it because any kind of paste tomato that I've ever grown, when they're inside, they always look like they're just not team players at all. Um, but they're all going to be team players as soon as I'm done here. So again, three things. It's either a plant that this b needs more soil. It needs to be fed. It's never been fed. Or it doesn't need to be fed, but it needs more soil. Or it needs to be pruned and it's been fed. So we'll start with, um, we'll start with the easy one, the one that needs to be fed. So what I have here is I have, I did have a whole bowl of soil mixed with trifecta, but I used a bunch of it in the video where I did all this other stuff that you'll never see. Well, you can see it if you want, but you won't hear anything. Um, so this, in any event, this bowl here, and I can mix up more if I need it while we're shooting, but this is my planting medium with the proper amount of trifecta mixed in. So tomatoes need a quarter cup per plant. That's four tablespoons. Peppers need a little less, which is three tablespoons. In any event, see, I probably said that wrong in the other video. It's a blessing. So what I'm going to do in this case, rather than scratch in the trifecta and then add soil, because my soil line only goes to here, I need to add a bunch of soil anyway. So I'm just going to take this marker out and just add some of this soil that has the trifecta mixed in. I also have this huge bin over here. I don't know if you can see it, but this big, huge, whatever it is, 30 gallon thing filled with just my planting medium with no food in it, no trifecta, no fertilizer whatsoever, because some of these don't need any more. Like I said, oh, the other thing I forgot to do is snip off any stems down that, that will end up being covered by soil. Remember, we don't want to bury any stems. So I'm just going to snip those off real quick. Easy. Easier if you do it before you add soil, but whatever. So now when I get all this in here, this well, there's three plants in here. These three little plants are going to be fed. And over the course of about a week, maybe less, um, we will see them thriving instead of circling the drain. So we'll call that good for now. Anytime you add fertilizer, food, plant food of any sort, hopefully organic only, um, you want to water it in. This plant doesn't need any water, really, but I just want to get that fertilizer going down in reaching the roots of the plants a little, give it a little shove down there. So I'm going to put this guy right here for now. He's not under the light, but that's all right. Hey, by the way, this is the, uh, the bull's horn pepper I showed you the other day, yesterday, I think. And this is its photo counterpart. Okay. These were started the same day. This looked just like these guys. I mean, this is doing nothing. This will stay like this. I can guarantee forever. Well, not ever, but, uh, 
maybe not because maybe it'll die if I don't feed it. But I gave it a uh, trifecta and transplanted it and now they look like this. So just to show you an actual, actual in-person whatever. Okay, so the next thing is, well, I guess we'll take this one. This is kind of exciting. So we're going to prune this guy, these guys, there's three. And this is blueberries. You know what this is? This is the, if you remember, uh, a couple of weeks ago, not even, I, it was my first like, holy cow trifecta is the bomb picture. And I, I took a, uh, hang in there. This plant needs water, so it's like falling. Um, I took a picture, made a little graphic. There was like, this was Friday, this is today. Um, and I had a little, it said like, wow, this is rad or whatever. That was this plant. And that was uh, less than two weeks ago. So now you know what trifecta does. <laughs> so the reason that I'm going to prune this plant is this is the growth tip on this plant, this section up here. This is the growth tip on this plant. This is the growth tip on this plant. The growth tip contains a hormone called auxin, and auxin suppresses lateral growth. This is lateral growth. This is a burnt leaf, not from trifecta, from my lamps, just for the record. Um, these things coming out the sides, these are all lateral, this is lateral growth. And I, I guess probably, I haven't really done any kind of serious research on it, but I would imagine that the reason that the plant has this hormone at the growth tip to suppress lateral growth is in, let's say, a forest, you know, the, the trees are all smashed together, and so they need to, they're all competing for light. And so they want to go up. They don't want to go out. If it's in landscaping, your trees, you want them to go out, right? So in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to snip off that growth tip. And what that's going to do is it's going to allow lateral growth. So that's what you want because you want your plants to have, you want your plants to be low and wide as opposed to long and gangly and just, you know, if I left them like this and planted them outside, they'd be goners with the first windstorm or hailstorm. So I am going to also add some soil to this. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to raise the canopy, as it were, just like with a tree. So I'm taking off the lateral growth that's down too low. And in the tree world, it would be because it's on a, along a sidewalk and people are going to bonk their heads. In this case, I need to add soil up the stems to encourage more root growth. So I'm just taking off the very bottom ones that I don't want to bury. Uh, I think that's good. Now for the drastic part. <laughs> uh, these are some growth tips here that I, that I already cut. I go up about four rungs, so four stems um, that are going out. So there's one, two, three, sorry, one, two, three, four. I'm going to go ahead and cut it there. I was going to say maybe I'll go up one more, but I'm going to go ahead and cut it right there. I know, it looks really sad, but don't worry. You guys are going to see all these plants. You'll know which ones have been pruned because they're all going to have these stumps right there. And you'll see, I'm going to show you, like, not every day, but I'll show you every, you know, once a week or so what they're doing. Now, this growth tip is gorgeous. It'll grow a whole other plant. So I'm just going to stick it in some water along with the others that I already cut off. It will root. I'll separate these. I won't have them all together. Um, but those will root, and then I'll just pop them in a pot with dirt and give them to my neighbors because I don't need any more tomatoes at this point. Um, Okay, so let's go to the next one. We have one, two, three, four. Off with your head. So that'll go in there to root. And the last one is really sad looking, but it's okay. It's another reason I'm doing this. The more lateral growth it has, well, overall, I already said, the stronger the plant's going to be, be outside, but even inside. Um, and it's not going to have to worry about all this growth. I am reducing. Anytime you're cutting anything off, any green off your plant, you are, this is energy, stored energy in here for the plant. So I am, while I'm taking away stored energy, I'm also allowing it to focus the energy it still has on a smaller plant. And so when it's, when they're young like this, it's a really good thing to do. Um, I wouldn't not do it. There's no way. Uh, okay, so we have sort of one there. I know you can't really see that, but there's this one stem here with two little leaves coming out. That must have broken off at some point. So... I'm going to go right above the technically fourth stem there. I'm just going to let that one go because it's too small. Um, this plant needs some water. All right, so, so far what have we done? We've given food to a plant 
food and more soil to a plant that needed more food and soil. I've pruned this plant and I'm gonna give it some more soil too. This is, again, that's that blueberries plant. Now it's already been fed, so I'm not gonna use what was in here. I'm not gonna use more soil with trifecta in it because it doesn't need any more and it could actually burn your plant. So, I mean, any fertilizer that you overdo will burn your plants. So I'm just adding more plain um, sterile soil with the coir in it to, uh, to get some more root growth going. Okay, looking good. Just keep telling it that. Your hair looks great, I love your haircut. <laughs> so there's sad little blueberries. He's gonna go over here. Okay, what's the next situation we have going on? Um, well, this isn't, well, I'll stick, to the, I'll stick to the script here. I have none, but we're gonna stick to it anyway. Okay, here's an interesting one. This is Kellogg's breakfast. This is, I think, actually, I really don't know. I was gonna say it's one of the ones I first transplanted, but I don't think it is. But what we have here is a really bushy, sturdy plant. I'm not gonna prune this yet. I don't think, I'm gonna take a look at it once I get the dirt in there. But this, I added, this is one, one of the ones I planted really low and that day for some reason was the day I decided to plant low and add food at the same time. So any of these that I'm looking at where they're really low, the soil line's really low, I know they already had food. Plus I can look at the plant. This had food, this didn't, although it has all the dirt in it. So it's real easy to tell just by the, the health of the plant. So this is uh, Kellogg's breakfast, like I said. And again, the first thing I'm gonna do, because the soil line's down there. Can you even see what I'm doing? This is way less organized than before. Soil line is all the way down here. So I'm gonna be adding soil all the way up to here. And there's a bunch of stuff down here I don't want buried. So we'll trim it off. Mm, yep, you have to go. And you have to go. And you, and you. Okay, so now we have still a really sturdy plant. Given how little soil there is to here, I'm telling you guys, this is like a whole new world for me. My plants have never looked like this. And I did fertilize, obviously. I fertilized in the past. Um, but I would like either make my own or there was a brand that I'd buy, you know, a real popular brand actually that I would buy at the store. And it did, it's pretty good actually but nothing like this. So, yeah. Thank you, Luke. Thank you, Luke. All right, so again, all I did here was this plant had already been fed. I knew that, I could tell by looking at it, but you probably know that because you're more organized than me and you mark your plants, I don't. I mean, I mark what they are, but I don't mark when I've fertilized them, usually. There's two plants in there that have markers in them on when I fertilize, but that's it. Oh, that was a gigantic stick in there. Oh, there it is. Okay, I think that's good. Hard to tell. Yep, that looks great. So in this case, I'm, I could prune this if I wanted to, but I'm not going to yet because it's really, I. I think it looks great right now. I think it's starting to flower actually. Oh, that is amazing. I wish you guys could see this up close. If I can get a picture of that, I'll, I'll post it either with this or later, but this guy is like so happy. He's like, Gee. but he's really not ready. I don't think, in my opinion, he's too small to be pruned at this point. His, uh, the stem is not as thick as a, as a pencil. Um, and that's usually kind of what I go by. So I'm just gonna set you, oh, you need water. How's that for loud? So this, again, I'm gonna say it every time probably. Every, uh, whoa. Anytime I add dirt, um, transplant, I start with pre-moistened soil. I don't wanna add a bunch of dry soil and then have to drown the plant. I want it to be as, you know, zen as possible. Um, so I don't know where to put you. You hang out there for now. 
All right, next on the list um, is, this is, oh, I want to show you this. This is kind of cool. I, I just fed this guy on the 12th. This is one of the two that has uh, a marker in it. It needs water right now, so I'm going to water it. Um, this is, can't you go and walk at the same time, sorry. This is what I'm calling Ilana's Tuscany. You guys have seen pictures of this? Well, Ilana is my friend. She's, um, she's on Facebook. Some of you know her. She's definitely on my page. Um, but she went to Italy years ago, and she was eating a salad. And she ate, bit into this tomato that was like the most delicious tomato she's ever eaten in her life. And so she like scraped the seeds out of, the, out of one of the pieces of the tomato and stuck it in a napkin and brought it home. I don't even know if that's legal, but she did it. And it's years that has gone by now. I'm sure she can't get in trouble. But anyway, um, so she's been growing these tomatoes for uh, at least four years, and she sent me seeds. So I, I'm growing. There's three in this pot, and there's three in this pot. Um, this one, they both look like this, except, or I'm sorry, they both look like this. And then I fed this one. I don't know how I missed this one, but I did. Um, and now it looks like this. And that one still looks like this. I have no idea what these plants look like, you know, like striped Romans. I know they're real wimpy. I don't know how these guys are. So all I know is that this is a huge difference. And it was Trifecta that did this. So um, when I did the other video, I already fed this one, Ilana. So I'm sorry I missed him before. But he's all fed now. Everything will be fine. So I'm going to put him back here. I should say her. OK. Um, and then this one. Same thing with that, like with the other one, wherever that went, down there, the uh, striped Roman down there. I probably could prune this one at this point, but I think I might wait another week because the stems, it's a pretty delicate plant as opposed to, say, blueberries or whatever this is. Um, it's a little more delicate. It's more like a, it's behaving more like a, a, a what's it called? Paste tomato. Every time I go to say that word, there's another video where I can't say paste tomato for some reason. It's, it's kind of structurally a little more like a paste tomato, at least at this point. And again, I haven't grown these, so I don't know if this is how it's going to stay. But I definitely will prune this, but I'm not going to prune it today. I'm just watering it. So that's not quite enough water. I go by feel. And I know when a plant has this much soil in it, it should have some weight to it. If it feels like it's a big pot of dry soil. That's just like, whew, then it needs water. Uh, that's another thing I was going to say to you guys. Some of these are wilty. Let me go with this one because this one's pretty wilty. Um, and that is part of, that's on purpose. That's part of my personal practice is I let tomatoes and peppers go just to wilt. Um, it's far better to underwater than to overwater to some extent. Um, but as a general rule, I'm pretty much always letting them, I, I look and wait until they're wilty and then I water them. <laughs> Not until they're completely wilted over and like they're never going to recover, but just to this point, see how he's kind of, he's leaning because there's only, soil is only to here for one thing, so he doesn't have the support. But um, he's also leaning because he needs some water. And he has some burnt leaves. Again, not from trifecta, this is from my bulb. But that's okay, we'll just trim him off so he doesn't have to try and fix them. Okay, so in this case, again, I know that this plant was fed. I can tell by looking at it. The soil line is down here because I planted these low, so I'm just going to snip these off. This is the last one I'm going to show you guys because I think you're getting the gist of it. I decided to do this like this. I decided to do this video and I decided to do it like this where I'm kind of repeating myself because it just kind of reminded me of like when my kids were learning their times tables, you know, and they're like, I don't know what seven times four is. But after they do it 90 million times, and they're like, oh, and it's second nature. And now you know, just by me saying that, probably, the answer comes to your mind exactly what the answer is. Uh, I don't know about you yet. OK, so that's why I'm repeating myself. This is the Paul Robeson. These are the only Paul Robesons I think I have. Um, I don't know. I have a whole other rack down there. What do I know? But again, I can tell this plant was fed, so all I'm going to do is add more soil now that I've trimmed off the lower lateral stems. It sounds like somebody just came in. I sure hope not. I hope it's just a dog. Or I'm going to yell cut. Okay, so now um, 
one of these is definitely big enough. Some of them aren't. Well, they are, but I would probably wait to prune them. But I can't do that. I can't prune one plant in a pot and not the other two. I'm just a Virgo and I can't. So I'm going to go ahead and um, assess these here. So we have one, two, three. I'm going to go up to the fourth on this one since it's a little smaller. And I'm not going to keep that growth tip. Okay, now I'm going to go to the next one. What do we have? Who's who here? One, two, three. Again, I'm going to go all the way up here and just cut a little, just cutting that growth tip off to remove the hormone, the oxen hormone that's in there, and now it will, it will allow lateral growth. Um, and one, two, three, four. I'm going to go ahead and, this guy's pretty meaty. I'm going to go ahead and cut him right there. This is a beautiful, uh, oh, it is flowering. This one's flowering too. There's three little flowers on it. Oh, I'm going to root it. It's going to flower and the flowers are going to die because it's not going to have enough other nutrients and it's not going to get pollinated. So that's all right. It's still going to root and it's still going to be a plant. How will I know that's the Paul Robeson? Hmm. Here, we'll put this little purple leaf on top of him because I want to mark that one. <laughs> okay. So this needs water. I can tell by feeling it again. So I'm going to give them a little water, just a smidge, and set him aside. Somewhere. I don't know where. He's going down here for now. Okay. Whoa. Microphone. That's it. I think you guys are understanding the, the concept here. So, you know, here I have a plant. I don't remember what I did with this one. Oh, I haven't done anything with this one. This plant is, this is the one I couldn't, I don't know how to say the last words. Japanese black tr truffle trifle I don't know and that little guy is in here remember this guy he doesn't really belong in the plants um, this is a plant that was planted low but not fed so this is this is a, actually a really unique situation because I kind of did either one or the other I either planted them low with food or planted them all the way up without food because I'm a knucklehead and I forget um, these pots are about I don't really know, but I'm guessing if this is four cups, 16 cups in a gallon, if this is four cups, I'm going to guess this is about a 10, we're going to call it an eight cup, okay? So that's like three quarters of a gallon, is that right? I can't do math and do a video at the same time. So I'm only going to put in uh, one, two, three, four, I'm going to put in mm, two tablespoons and they're barely even tablespoons actually. I'd rather underfeed than overfeed because you know you don't want to burn your plants. Not that trifecta would. I mean, actually any fertilizer if you put too much in is going to burn your plants. So I'm putting it in on the soil and I'm not really letting it make full contact with the stems. Um, and now I'm using a fork to, not, I'm not going very deep because I don't want to scratch in, you know, scratch my um, roots. I just want to get that uh, fertilizer kind of uh, mixed in with the soil so it doesn't just create this weird barrier between there's some roots whoopsie <laughs> a weird barrier between you know the soil that's down here then a layer of fertilizer on top which is a different consistency altogether and then add more soil which is a different consistency it makes it makes it hard for the the, the soil and every the water to 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 uh what's the word I'm looking for I don't know transport I knew it began with a T. It makes it hard for the plant, the, the pot and the soil and everything to transport all the nutrients around the soil. And it also makes watering weird within the pot because there's like, all these different soil consistencies. So that is why you do that. That's why I do it anyway. Based on information I have been armed with. So this little stems down here are too low. They're getting buried. So I'm just using my thumbnail to pinch them off. And there you have it. Now the sky has been fed. You've seen what all these plants look like now. I mean, again, there's still all those down there and some, as you can see, are a foot tall and falling over in three inches of dirt. So obviously I really need to get to those too. But so the three things we did today was, were, was um, fertilize if need be add more soil if need be, and prune if appropriate. So that's it. These plants, all these up here, they look horrendous right now, but <laughs> they're going to look 
way better in a week or so. And it's because of this, for one, and the pruning and, um, and adding more soil. So anyway, I hope you guys learn something. And if you have any questions, let me know. Either post them on Facebook or you can post a comment down below. Facebook is easier, but if you don't have Facebook or you don't like Facebook, here is fine. And I'll get back to you, okay? Talk to you guys soon. Bye.